All right, so today we are going to be simulating a full be a pro career and holy crap are the promises and just everything. It's so annoying. There's so much of it when you're simulating through. It's crazy. I mean, I guess it's not just when you're simulating through, but when you're not actually playing the games, you notice how frequently it really is happening. So I kind of had this idea for a while now, and I also saw a comment on a stream while I was on Twitch, and that sort of pushed me to actually pursue this idea. So here we are, and without further ado, let's hop in and see what happens when you simulate a full be a pro career on NHL 21. I did in fact go with the Doug Glatt theme for this one here. If you've seen the movie Goon, then you probably know what I'm, well, you definitely know what I'm talking about, obviously, if you've seen the movie, but if you haven't, then you Still probably no, but maybe not. The only team that decided to interview Doug was the Mighty Ducks of Anaheim, which for me, basically sealed the deal. That's where Doug was going to end up. Did not go in the first round, but in fact, 160th overall, Doug would go to the Ducks here. Gets a nice picture up on stage with management, and he would be starting on the third line, 72 overall. The team looks pretty decent overall. They would finish fourth in the Pacific Division with a total of 86 points, and Glatt would put up 23 points with a minus six. The Boston Bruins are Stanley Cup champions for year one. In year number two, Glatt would still be on the third line, 76 overall. Here is the Anaheim Ducks roster. The team will finish sixth in the Pacific Division with 76 points. Glatt would put up 24 points and a minus three, and Boston would win back-to-back -back Stanley Cups. Year number three, Doug Glatt up to the second line now at 78 overall. Giordano and Riley is the top pair. Gibson is the goaltender. And there's just a small update on the teammates and everything. I'm kind of just spamming through the interview, so that doesn't really matter anyway. But it's 23 points out of Glatt and a Stanley Cup for the Tampa Bay Lightning. Year number four, which means the entry-level contract is up. Glatt stayed with the Ducks here because Columbus didn't seem to be doing much better. Second line, still Gibson, the starting goaltender. Morgan Riley ended up being best pals with Glatt this year. The team finished with 85 points, fifth in the Pacific. Glatt put up 35 points in 78 games, and the Edmonton Oilers win a Stanley Cup. Somehow in year number five, Doug Glatt gets named the captain of the Anaheim Ducks at 83 overall. The first line will be Glatt, Dreisaitl, and Rantanen, which is absolutely disgusting. I'm still questioning how Glatt got captain. But anyway, Dreisaitl and Glatt ended up being pretty good friends this year. The Ducks finish eighth in the entire league. Glatt impressively manages to put up only 35 points. I don't know how that's even possible in that line. But anyway, the Pittsburgh Penguins win the Stanley Cup and the Ducks were eliminated in round number two. Time for another contract to be signed and staying with the Ducks here because Tampa Bay does not seem to be doing very well. And Glatt buys himself a beach house, which is pretty fire. 85 overall on that first line. Gibson still going to be the starting goaltender. The team finishes third in the entire league with 102 points. Glatt would play 74 games, putting up 31 points. And the Golden Knights would eliminate Ducks in back-to-back -back years. This time, though, they win the Stanley Cup. Year number seven, Glad 87 overall on the first line with Panarin and Dreisaitl, John Carlson and Morgan Riley, the top pair. Thatcher Demko going to be the starting goaltender here. The Ducks would finish third in the league with 108 points. Glad puts up 33 in 66 games, must have been injured or something. The Detroit Red Wings win the Stanley Cup and the Golden Knights eliminate the Ducks three straight years now. A new year, a new contract, and this time, things weren't really working out in Anaheim, so decided to go to the Sharks here, also named captain. So, Doug Klatt seems to be the captain wherever he goes right now. The team looks pretty solid over here in San Jose. They'd finish third in the Pacific with 95 points this season. Glad puts up 48 points in 79 games, and the Arizona Coyotes are going to take home the Stanley Cup. The Sharks eliminated by who other than the Ducks in round number one. The final year before the double digits and Glatt gets to play with Sagan and Line this year. So once again, just getting stuck with nasty teammates. Unbelievable. Just an update on the likability meters and stuff like that. San Jose will finish third in the Pacific. Glatt puts up 52 points this year and the Columbus Blue Jackets win a Stanley Cup. The Sharks eliminated in the conference finals. 
Lots of short contracts in this game. But anyway, Glatt will be staying in San Jose over Chicago, and he's on a nasty first line once again here. On top of that, buys a houseboat. Pretty fire. Also an electric vehicle. Two great purchases, and that's just boosting up the stats even more here. San Jose gets 94 points, finishing fourth in the Pacific. Glatt would put up 58 points in 82 games with a plus 27. Montreal wins the Stanley Cup. San Jose, round one exit against... Chicago. Yeah, because of course. Year 11 brings another contract year. Staying in San Jose, another update on the likability meters here and playing with McKinnon and Line A. That is just foul. What a first line. There was a Game 7 interview here for the playoffs and they would win the Stanley Cup. So Doug Glatt getting his name put on the Stanley Cup also wins a con Smythe. The team finished second in the entire league with 112 points, so they got the Stanley Cup, just missed out on the President's 52 points for Glatt this year, and there you have it. Year number 12, Glatt's going to be playing with McKinnon and Whitfield lining now on that second line. Leno is the starting goaltender at 82 overall. The Sharks would finish second in the league with 117 points. Glatt would finally kind of a breakout year here with 79 points. The Golden Knights are the Stanley Cup champions, and they would also eliminate the Sharks there in round number two. Year 13, another contract year, and deciding to stay in San Jose over the St. Louis Blues there. Bus, the starting goaltender, 87 overall. The team finishes fifth in the league with 101 points. Glatt leads the team with 81 points in 82 games, just shy of point a game. The Washington Capitals win a Stanley Cup, and the Predators eliminate the Sharks there in round number two. Glatt still remains on the first line here for the San Jose Sharks, 97 overall. An absolute unit. The team finishes second in the league, 103 points, one behind the Nashville Predators there. 87 points out of Doug Glatt and a Stanley Cup for the Washington Capitals. San Jose is eliminated in round number one. Another contract must be signed and staying in San Jose will be Doug Glatt, 97 overall on the first line. Still, Buss is the starting goaltender. This cutscene, I threw that in just because of the gloves. That threw me off a lot. But San Jose gets 107 points, finishes second in the league. Glatt puts up 79 this year in 82 games. The New Jersey Devils are Stanley Cup champions. And the Sharks would be swept by the Vancouver Canucks in round number two. In year 16, Doug Glatt is once again on the first line, which, not a surprise there, considering his overall. Just saying. The team gets a President's Trophy this year with 110 points. Glatt picks up 81 points in 81 games, getting exactly a point a game. The Toronto Maple Leafs win the Stanley Cup, and the San Jose Sharks are eliminated in the conference final by the Dallas Stars. Once again, opting to stay with the San Jose Sharks here over the LA Kings. Glatt, Fontaine, and Whitfield are going to make up the first line for the Sharks this season. The team will finish third in the league with 105 points. Glatt puts up 90 points in 82 games. The Avalanche are Stanley Cup winners this time around, and the Oilers swept the Sharks in round number two. Hello and welcome to year number 18. I will be your host, Doug Glatt, 94 overall. First line for the San Jose Sharks, but unfortunately, after purchasing a private jet, year wasn't going to plan, so inquired for a trade, and he says, catch the next plane to New York Islanders. Love that, makes tons of sense. But yeah, now Doug Glatt, going to be on a much better, or at least this season, Islanders team, playing with Shane Wright. They get 107 points, good enough for third in the league. Glatt puts up 44 points in 66 games this season. The Boston Bruins are Stanley Cup champions, and the Islanders are eliminated by said Boston Bruins in the conference finals. Another contract here to be signed, and yeah, we head over to the Winnipeg Jets, also named captain here, Doug Glatt on the first line, 91 overall the team. Honestly, when I first looked at the lineup, I was a little concerned, but they end up winning the President's Trophy with 110 points and 53 wins on the year. Glatt puts up 76 points in 80 games. Boston wins themselves another Stanley Cup here, and the Winnipeg Jets are eliminated by the Predators in round number one. At this point, I'm kind of just hopping all over the place, so yeah. Signed with the Minnesota Wild, also named captain there. First line, 88 overall. The team looks pretty solid, but not good enough for the playoffs. 89 points and fifth in the division. Glatt puts up 56 points, playing only 64 games, and the Boston Bruins are Stanley Cup champions.
Another set of contracts are presented to us. I wonder if you can get more than two, because I've only seen two. But anyway, I decided to stay with the wild this time around, and things were not working out. So once again here, sitting down with GM, we're requesting a trade, okay? Trying to get out of here, and he agrees. So we got shipped to the Golden Knights here on the first line, 89 overall. The team looks solid, and we would finish second in the entire league with 112 points. Glatt puts up 47 points in 74 games. The St. Louis Blues are Stanley Cup champions, and the Knights are swept by the LA Kings in round number two. Year 22. Staying with the Golden Knights over the Calgary Flames. I'm sorry, getting named captain here. Shea and DeKaiser will be the line mates for Doug Glatt this season. The team looks solid again. And for some reason, this guy had a helmet on in every cutscene. I thought it was hilarious, so definitely decided to put that in here. But the team will finish third in the league with 106 points. Glatt puts up his jersey number in points. It's 74 games played. The Minnesota Wild are Stanley Cup champions because, of course, of course they are. Time to buy a damn mansion. Doug Glatt on the first line for the Golden Knights here. And the team, once again, does look pretty solid. They'd finish eighth in the entire league with 101 points. Glatt puts up 54 points and has a plus 11. The San Jose Sharks, another former team, wins the Stanley Cup. And they would also eliminate the Golden Knights. Year 24, making a jump again here, basically just because and getting named the captain of the Ottawa Senators. Going to be playing with Bellamy and Baker here on the first line. The team honestly does not look as good as the Knights, so I kind of regretted it, but the Knights finished fourth. Senators still finished eighth. Glad puts up 57 points, and look who wins the Stanley Cup. You're trolling at this point. You have to be. Year number 25, starting out with the Ottawa Senators here, but things were not going as planned. So once again, basically just because I could, requesting a trade, we end up with the Coyotes and get named captain. We would end up making the playoffs with this team. We're with McCarron and Little on the first line. We get to round number two. However, I didn't get to see the rest of the stats because we got the infamous mode complete here, and we get a cool end-of-career cutscene that shows you a bunch of stuff. 1,911 games played, 25 seasons, 861 assists, 1,367 points. And I'll let James take this one away. And the Stanley Cup champion! So yeah, there it is. You love to see it. We got a Stanley Cup under our belt. And this is actually a pretty cool screen here. I believe this is just, you can do it anyway under the stat tracker or... Something like that. But anyway, we got 12 conference wins, three hat tricks, 506 goals. We got our first goal and first point. Well, yeah, against Toronto. And here's some milestones there as well. So yeah, this was very interesting. And my first time actually finishing a Be A Pro mode. Just another screen here that I made for some stats that aren't really included in the other ones. So yeah, 25 years worth of contracts and roughly $173.8 million made. On top of that, I have the list of teams and hopefully I'm not missing one and hopefully they're in the right order. But uh, yeah, there you go. Thank you guys very much for choosing to watch this video. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a mission to get through that and simulate past all those meetings and everything. Holy crap. But anyway, I think it was worth it. It was interesting and fun. So if you guys could go ahead and click that like button, it'd be tremendous. If you want to subscribe, just do it, you know, trial basis. Do it. If you don't end up liking it, you can unsub. You know what I'm saying? But it's at least give it a shot. All right. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.